It's me. You just accept checkmate when you see it. Okay, don't move into check. Early game. I mean, the early game is a joke, man. Get torched. Get torched. Reload me. Get blown away. Get moved. Honestly, get moved. 5 HP. I would love the soul of a rook going into our next game. Thank you. Move me backwards. Reload me. What do you got? One, 3 HP? Get torched. Easiest kill of my life. Strafe mode. Right-click on a target and fire the next time you move. Or engraved scope. Right-click arc minus 45%. Add range plus one. This bonus resets on each move or load. Strafe lets you move and shoot. Do you still reload? I feel like Militia is just too dangerous. Like, one Rook losing two pawns just seems like I'm, I'm playing to my enemy's benefit on- or to my enemy's detriment on that one. Now, I don't know if a scope is gonna be any good for us. But it could be. I mean, it's kind of hard for me to argue with the idea that, like, right now- Oh, because right-clicking costs us a move. Does it give us... It doesn't give us power, though. Okay. So if I right-click now, I would use scope. They would put me in check, I would move, and then I would lose the scope. So I don't think we should do that. What I do think we should do is take a move onto... Um, we're going to move onto this square. That way, their rook will come here. We can't kill it in one shot. And their bishop will come here. We'll be in double check, but that lets us get out of two checks by just moving probably down one. And then we get a great shot on the rook. So, you can shoot in check. I know. The rook has 5 HP. I have a power level of 4. Just one shot, the thing that puts you in check. Okay, very cool guy, 27. Give me, give me an extra point of damage. If you, could, if you could Western Union me an extra point of damage, I would be thrilled to put this incredible strategy into practice. Just kill the thing next to you. Check your PayPal. Okay. Move me. We get double checked. That's fantastic. Move me back so the knight's less of a threat. Now you probably, because we're not getting checked here, you just two-tap a rook. You can't put me in check. I'm in love with that. You know what? We have to reload. You can't put me in check either. Let's just, let's milk him, dude. Get owned. You're going to put me in check. You know what? Because you're going to put me in check. Let's kill the knight first. That allows us to get out with something like this. We stay on the white squares so their bishop can't affect us. Two tap a rook. It's the most dangerous piece left on the board. Reload me. You can't do anything to me. Get torched. Move me up. Reload me. You're dead. You're dead. I don't know what you're going to do. I'm going to move again. I'm going to move again. I mean, you're not going to checkmate. We were just the king. Wait a minute. <laughs> like, maybe you could. <laughs> If you just press me into here, sure, why not? But we have you on lethal anyway, so it should be okay. Just move me once. Honestly, move me again, and then you're lethal. Okay, no problem. Extra range, they get two bishops on turn 20. Yeah. That seems very fair. Two range seems nice. Holy cow, we can shoot right from the get-go. But you know what? We're not in check yet. Why don't we just go scopey mode? I actually don't want to kill this knight because I don't want you to get an easy check on me. Let's shoot at the bishop. I'll live with that. You know what? 
I'll still live with. Oh, you got dude, dude. If we had killed the pawn, it would have been over for us. That's a, that was an awful idea. That was a horrible play. Now we have normal gun. Get torched. You're gonna move and put me in check. Don't mind it. We're gonna move back one. You're gonna move and put me in check. Is actually like so fine. Because you're going to move and put me in check. Okay. I need to hit you for two. This seems very doable. I mean, we could do this, like, more elegantly. Because once we get down to, like, this phase right here, it's pretty annoying. Reload me. Because I have to manage my ammo a little bit more, but... Extra firepower. Fire arc is lower. Flip card if a piece is adjacent to you. Okay, so if you're close to an enemy, then this is no longer active. So this is a buff at a distance. And then the elite gem is just good, no matter what. I mean, these are both... This all seems good. I think I'd rather have the firepower, honestly. Okay, be very wary of discovered checks. <laughs> you can't put me in check this turn. Right click me. What's our power? Five? Dude, honestly? Five damage right to the dome piece? Move me here. Do I still have... I don't have my laser beam anymore. It's alright, you can't do anything to me. Right click me for the scope. You're dead. Record time. Non-knight pieces can't cross the moat in one move. I'm not that good at chess. What is the what is the moat? Also known as the Nord. It adds a river to the middle. Wait a minute. That seems incredible. They can't get past my moat. And we have a sniper. It seems amazing. You're gonna... The king is gonna move here. That's a horrible decision on your part. Move me one. He's in the damn moat, man. Right click me. I'm in check. Move me there. Okay. Right click me. Destroy this king. We are going to be placed in check after this, but that's okay. You know what? I would accept... I would like to get a Soul of the Night. That way we... Oh, and we did some piercing damage anyway. That way we can escape. So you're about to put me in check no matter what. <clears throat> we need to reload. How much damage? We have five damage. You're also moving. You're going to put me in check. So we're going to be in double check. You're going to put me in check here. You're going to put me in check here, which means I can't just kill the rook to finish the job. In theory, I could probably take a shot and kill the king and finish the job. Does that count? Oh, you're right. You're going to get stuck in the moat. So I could kill the rook and finish the job. That would count. Oh, you know what? Okay, we're, we're going to go for the lethal then. All we... I right clicked, which means I can't right click. Okay, my mistake. Move me. I just want to be in a spot where I can hit this king. It doesn't matter if the queen's moving. It's the, the, the bishop could have gone here if it were not for the moat. But I can't right click because this guy's got me in check. Which means I need to get out of here. So I, ca I can't reliably kill him in one hit. Which means, unfortunately, I need to move. But that's okay. Because I move. This bishop puts me in check. I kill it. I get... Well, no, I don't get the soul of a bishop. That's okay, though. This is still... This is still fine. Okay, you ready? You move. You put me in check. You are going to go here, which is not checkmate because I can soul of the knight to here. Get killed. You didn't even make what I would consider to be the best move. What a fool. We can make another move here. Reloads me. We do five damage. We would need to hit with every shot. 
I'm in check though. Okay, very important to know. Yeah, this is it's actually amazing because if I move here, you put me in check. Then I use my soul of the night to get behind enemy lines and you can't get over the moat again. I would rather move. You put me in a different style of check, which is insulting to me. I'm offended. So let me, I took a shot. But not oh we only have four power. Why did I think I have five power? Cause the card turns over because it's adjacent to me. So true. Okay, there's a lot of moving parts. Alright. So I can't kill you in one hit. I can't move here or here or here or here. Because that would be checkmate. Obviously I can't move here or here. Can't solo the knight here. We can solo the knight here or here. If we soul of the knight here, you're going to put me in check. I got to move back, but we could probably get a kill on you in the future. But it's a little spooky. You could soul across the river. What here puts me in checkmate, though. So I think I have to soul right here. It does not. They can't checkmate you over the moat. Okay. I'm willing to believe that. True. It's the damn truth. Things are still rough, though. Can't go here. I think I need to go back into the moat. Um, this, this is hard. <laughs> the king's one tapped? Good point. It didn't work. Am I correct in my assumption that it modeled... Whether the pellets would have hit. No, you're not. Okay. Well, the probably everyone's like upright and blast him. But the problem, okay, I go up and to the right. Then their queen moves here. I guess maybe I could shoot the queen and the piercing damage might get to the king, but I'm in check to begin with. Plus, if I move up to the right, their bishop goes here, and all of a sudden I'm in check like 12 different ways. So I think I, I do think you're like right-ish, but I just have to think about it. Ideally, we want to be in double check, so I do think up to the right makes the most sense. That way, one move takes us out of two checks. You're probably going to move down towards us, and we shoot you. There you go. In order to do what you were trying to do there, you have to burn all of your shields and then try it. Okay. That's... I, as a, a last-ditch effort, sure, maybe. Minus one fire range. Our king has... Their king has minus three HP. Or even better focus. I mean, I feel like the focus gets better for sure, but they do have a lot of bishops and their bishops can do like good things, but they can't cross the moat in a single shot. So I honestly, I think you right click on this one because this dude's moving right here and then you just blast them. I'm in check. Move to here. Now here's another edge case, okay? If I checkmate their king, Like, if I kill it, and then it puts us in a discovered check, do we lose by drawing? <laughs> you win if you do that. Okay, that's good to know. Because I think I can just kill you in two hits. We want to... I mean, like, we could just blast you, but then I don't want to have to reload. But if I move here, I could still hit you, but you're going to put me in check next turn. I guess we might as well just blast you. Am I correct in thinking I have to move the... I have to use the shields on this one? Moving loses us our sniper, though. Okay. I'm not going to go for it. I'm going to do this. You're going you're gonna to have to move. I'm in check again. I'm in... I'm in a world of hurt. I can't kill you. Move me up. Dude, we got to crush these bishops. I understand the moat, but the bishops must go. I'm in check again. 
the bishops are doing too much. I'm in, I'm in hell. Okay, you have to go. I need a soul. I now have the ability to escape. Get me out of here. Just work them over bit by bit. You're dead. I am still in a thousand different forms of check. You're. I'm worried I'm going to go here. Uh, no matter what, we're going to get double checked on that one. So just... I, but this is good, because if we move here, I was thinking we could soul of the bishop, but we can't really, because you're going to block my diagonal with like one or two. So I actually think, for now, I'm in check. You have to make a move. Okay, I'm going to... Um, I'm going to get spicy. I'm going to move up one. You're going to come here. You're going to come here. That allows us to move. Then their rook is obviously an issue for us, but we also will have a corridor to solo the bishop out if we need to. Wasn't exactly how I drew it up, but that's okay. We're only in check once, which means we can just kill you. I think we were saved by the AI. I would love it if this rook was killable. Or just dead. That works. Okay, so all of you are moving, but in the worst case scenario, I should still be able to escape. So I'm, I'm going to reload. You've blocked my escape, you pieces, but that's okay, because we can just escape in the future. You need to get blasted. Nobody's moving. We still have an escape route. You're dead. It's just that easy. You can play an extra turn after using a soul. I cannot give bishops extra speed. Or do I want to um, give them an extra bishop? It's all bad. The bishops last game, I was doing like matrix multiplication at the start of the game just to stay in the damn game also doubles fire arc for one bullet this is me right like my first shot is going to be horrible your arc is so short it doesn't matter that might be true. I guess I just go to a default arc, basically, like the original default arc to begin with. Okay, they have no pawns. I start in check. All right, it turns out the enemies having some pawns might be advantageous. <laughs> um, This is too big brain. You're not in check because of the mode. Okay, okay. But nobody's moving on this turn. So I do think maybe we could right click and get a snipe. I'm still not in check. I'm in check. Once they're in the mode, they're in your area of effect. But you can't put me in check if I move on to a white square. Good to know. I Because you can move orthogonally. Ah! <clears throat> Because the bishops move like damn rooks, man. Now I'm not in check. You are going to move to put me in check. But I'm okay with that. Maybe just kill a rook for now. We um, A unit is adjacent to us, so we cannot kill a rook. But we could do some damage to it. We could use a soul. Not necessary. Uh, you're you're going to be killable next turn. Let's do some let, let's get some pieces off the board. It did 3 damage. It needed to do 4 damage. It did 3 damage. I will try again. There's a little a little salt involved here. The salt is, 
I wish that it was like Into the Breach, where it was reliable damage, instead of like XCOM, where there was a little bit of a, a dice roll aspect to it. That's just something, because I, I, people are like, why do you keep referencing Into the Breach? I don't know, maybe because of the fucking predictability of the enemies, because they shake when they're about to move and you can pretty much infer where they're going to go. It takes place on a damn grid. Um, you know, there's a lot of similarities to it. But then, when I am like, oh, I have four damage, this allows me to plan my move, and then you have actually like an 86% chance to do four damage, but actually you do three just because... You, uh, you, you, one of your pellets missed. I'm like, well, what am I supposed to do about that? I, I, I want the, I want it to be unambiguous math, but I'm also will, you know, I'm willing to give it more of a chance. And I, am, I, I'm having more fun than I thought I would. I'll be the first person to tell you, I have. Can we get a clip on this, please? Can we get a... We, we shot directly at an enemy. And our pellets came out in a V-shape. All I, I'm fine with that, but you need to give me the pound of flesh. The pound of flesh you need to give me is that whenever you're like, just shoot the enemy next to you, I want you to remember what the fuck just happened, okay? Why doesn't he, I saw it in chat a thousand times last time. Why does he do the safe moves instead of just shooting the enemy that's right next to him? That's why, okay? Okay, move here. Move here. Just kill you. Kill you. Now you're all... <laughs> I was gonna say, now you're all gonna pay. <laughs> I didn't even look at the discovered check. Okay, okay. Run me back, run me back. Untilt. But what I was gonna say is, I'll be the first to tell you that when people are like, hey, a new variation... Right, that makes sense. That's just idiocy on my part. When people are like, hey, a new variation on chess just came out, when are you gonna play it? I'm like, well, I got battle chess um, as a kid. And absolutely hated it. Um, every time I played battle chess, I thought to myself, why am I not just playing regular chess? So there's actually, you, though you might not believe it, there, for me, there's actually like a higher barrier to entry for something that is chess adjacent. Almost in the same way that that ex oh, I, I, I can't take the chance. Almost in the same way that there is for Isaac, where people are like, there's this incredible Isaac-inspired game you should go check out. And then the whole time I'm playing it, I'm like, I should just be playing Isaac right now, because this is kind of stinky. Now, I'm not... Right? Okay, fair enough. I'm not saying this is kind of stinky. I'm just saying that's where my brain goes to when people are like, we made a chess analog. Because in my head, I'm like, why mess with perfection? We just got a learning curve to wrap our head around. Play an extra turn when you kill a knight. Remove one knight, add three pawns. Frick you, man. Cornered despot. Plus two firepower if your king is on the board's edge. Seems horrible. Um, fire arc minus ten seems good. Even if it does remove a knight, at least, at least it's something. Maybe we'll get to add a knight in the future. Chat, I inverted it when I read it. You get plus two firepower when you're on the edge. You get minus two firepower when the card flips over when you're not on the edge. Is I'm backseating you now. It's the other way. It, the card is called Cornered Despot. You really think when you're in the wide open space it gives you a buff? I'm gonna, I'm gonna have to... You're turning me back into teacher mode. 
this is where all of a sudden we're like, okay, you know what? We were going to play a uh, sticky ball at the end of the class. We were going to use the whiteboard markers to draw targets uh, on the board. And then you get to throw the ball and see how many points you get. And then you get to redeem the points for candy at the end of the game. But you know what? Because you guys are, it's, I don't know if it's because it's a Friday or whatever. Instead, you get to do silent reading in a language that you don't even understand. Okay? 10 minutes silent reading. No speaking. No whispering. The first person whose eyes look up from their book. An example is being made of them. I'm sending you to the principal's office. Okay, good. Start the clock. So I took away one night. What I didn't realize is that now they have no nights. But at least we get minus 10 arc. Something Kathy would, would honestly consider a blessing right now. Okay, you have 6 HP. We're about to be put in check. That's okay. Because I think we just blast. Take take your free damage. Honestly, uh, no, no, no. Do not solo the knight there. Just back it up one. Take a little shot. Accept your witty little own. You can put me in check, but I'm not that concerned about it. I'll move one over. I'll shoot you. I'll move back one. I'll shoot you again. I'll reload. Oh, I have no ammo. I'll move. You have this much HP. I'll do this. You're dead. Easy. You can still plus two. I'm sorry. You know, I like to be your friend. I like to be that teacher that's a little bit more like, you know, I'm, I'm more of a peer. Because you guys are old enough now that, you know, you should be able to behave yourselves in class. But sometimes I forget that you're still just kids. And you got to lay the hammer down. You got to have some discipline. Okay? Taunting Hop. King has less HP. Their king has less HP. You can jump over a nearby piece to deal one damage to it. The Secret Air adds a pawn. One pawn is the Secret Air. The Air replaces the king if he dies. Among Us? Elite gem. More ammo and regen. Queens and kings have more HP, though. This always means that we have to kill a king and then a pawn. Which seems hard for me to come to terms with. That, that seems like it could screw up my game plan more than the king and the queen just having more HP. Plus, we got a nice bonus. I would like to give anything to the opponent that causes them what a shot to um, get an extra knight huge reload dude honestly just get blasted free blast don't mind if I do back me up one shoot me what do you got too much HP to lethal in one go I'm going to lose my damn mind. It's all right. We move here. Move them right into our face. I can't believe the, the, the misses, man. Think Thick Bank Boy. Thank you for the gifted subscriptions. Thank you. Once per floor, lift a non-king piece on your path without ending your turn. What the hell does that even mean? You raise them up. You you pick it up so you shoot past it. Oh, no, hold on. King's shoulders means you walk into them, then throw them for three damage. I mean, I would take that over the blunderbuss, I think. Let's at least see what it does. These seem like some cursed options, but that's okay. Okay, move me. Move me. Move me. Shoot me. I am in check. He is in check. Shoot me. 
shoot me. Huge. Can I lift you up? Yes. Extra turn. I could throw you? There's no way this is gonna land. Never mind. It totally landed and also moved them. Great intel. Move me here, because I think you're going to move there. Oh, you know what? We, we might as well move here and then take our shot first. Beautiful. And I'm not even in check. But if you kill the bishop, you lose. So let's be careful. I think this is a good reload opportunity. Then when they move... Well, what? You have 2 HP? I'm willing to chance it. You're going to move and put me in check, but that's okay. We get a shot. That's good damage. Put me here can't kill you that's fine put me here they're gonna get a promotion this time although their king is really close to being dead maybe they're not gonna get a promotion maybe i'm fine i got nervous for no reason please give the enemy team a horse add two bishops at the start of turn 20 add three pawns their pawns are not special non-king pieces non-knight pieces can't cross the moat in one move I mean, honestly, I think you go back to the moat. Because they don't have any knights anyway. Now, we don't have any range, but... I'm not too worried about their pawns. Because, like, we'll just... I mean, I think we just blast them, man. Just, just blast them down. Now, we are in check. Be careful of that. I think I can incept their bishop to get killed. No, because they can't cross the moat in a single turn. Let's us get some free damage across. I love that for me. Honestly, reload me. If you put me in check, I'll lift you up. And then I'll throw you at the king. And then I'll take a shot. He's done it. He's actually done it. Honestly, the king lift is incredible. I thought it was going to be garbage, but it's actually amazing. Um... So extra barrel, does this mean we shoot two at a time? Like we shoot two sets of pellets? No. It means we have three space in our gun? Okay. Pawns move faster, bishops move faster. I don't really want taunting hop, that's my thing. Purtle 789. Thanks for the gifted subs. Thank you. I don't want pawns and bishops to get faster, and I don't want taunting hop. They get one queen, but queens are worse. I do think extra barrel is maybe like a... It seems dubious how good its quality would be, but if there's enemies close to us, I think that's helpful. And a lot of our game plan basically consists of just blasting pawns like immediately at the start of the game so having more ammo in your gun seems kind of sick reload me you can only move three squares so you're about to move like right here i think we just take a shot and then there's a part of me that says why don't you just go go loco on this man there's four damage get torched we're totally fine still Reload me again. What are you at? Now, I does it always do three damage? Because I think I could just pick this sucker up. Wait a minute. I'm about to get checkmated by this guy. Okay. We'll use that to kill you. And Motherfucker. <laughs> Tragic. Tragic. Discovered check. I, I Did I tunnel vision? I tunnel vision. Okay. No doubt about it. That doesn't even bother me. Because that, again... Go five seconds without mentioning Into the Breach Challenge. Difficulty, degree, impossible. But, like, that seems, like, fair to me. At the risk of sounding like a huge fucking baby... Missing a shot on an enemy that's... I'm about to get checkmated. No, because I have a soul. Um, missing a shot on an enemy that's right next to you. Just due to RNG seems a little unfair. 
You're not dead? Uh, reload me then? Be dead. Okay. You're right. We should have gotten the soul on that one. Plus three ammo max. Add a rook. Gain two ammo every time you kill a rook. I love this. Ammo has been an issue for me. No, I'm not going to casino because like half the runs that I've had so far, I get tilted and just lose to discovered check on like floor two. Honestly, the backseating's already been annoying enough without people acting like I caused them to lose their life savings. Okay, where are you going to go? You're probably going to go right here, right? Easy smash. No discovered checks. That's like the first thing you have to look for is discovered checks. None. None of them. Move me. Killing a rook gives you two ammo. It would be nice to get to... Five attack. That way, in theory at least, we could kill a rook in one hit. I think what you do here is blast him. Blast him. You get two free ammo. It doesn't get loaded into your gun, but that's okay. I'm going to have to use my soul to get away. But I don't mind, because I'm going to try to kill a rook anyway, so that we can get the soul of the rook. Beautiful. Then reload me. Reload me. You're dead. Okay. Looked a little scary, but we got out of it. Your bullets pierce? Nah, man. Honestly, we, we're gonna lower our range no matter what. I don't think adding a pawn every four turns is that bad. Let's give their king less HP so we can kill it faster. And then, kill them as fast as possible. So that you don't have to deal with um, the conscription effect. Great shot, man. If I move here, you can't put me in check. Oh, you can put me in check with the bishop. That's pretty true. I don't believe it. I this Honestly, you should post this on chess.com. Like the Twitter account, because I'm in checkmate. Unless I could... Oh, you could kill the king! Please! Please! No! Oh! Thank God. King has less HP. We gotta look for that. So what... How much HP does their king have right now? Because I feel like we're getting close to the point where we could one-tap it. It has five. Let's give it a try. Their king has four now. So it is, it's theoretically possible to lethal it. This is beautiful. There's their pawn. You can't put me in check. You've already taken one damage. You're going to put me in check, but reload me. Okay, that was a smart move on your part. You should listen to your friend Billy Zane. He's a cool guy. He just wants what's best for you. I'm, I'm being pushed back now. I would like to kill... Right, that makes perfect sense. I would like to kill a unit. And take its soul. Perhaps you. Now I have a soul I can use to escape. This is horrible. No, it's fine. <laughs> I can't kill you in one hit. Dude, I'm dead. I'm not dead yet, but I'm like, I'm close to dead. Because I can't kill you in one hit. If I move here, you come here for the check. There's no place for me to go. I have no soul. So, I'm trying to think about how we use a hop. You can hop past the unit to do one damage. You're not, well, you know what? If I come here, no, there's no way I'm hitting all four pellets on the king. There's no chance. The only way out for me is here. We get double check. No, it's still checkmate. I'm done. I'm torched. How does how does one hop? P 
pawns are blocking it. Ah, okay, that makes sense. Well, just kill me. I accept that. That one was mine. That was my bad. If you'd gone up, you could have hopped over the rook. It wouldn't have killed... I, I still think we would have been checkmated, but at least we would have been to see the hop. Because we couldn't have gone... If we went vertically straight down on top of it, we couldn't have because that would have kept us in check. We would have been killed by the rook on the turn... Let's call it turn zero. If we went up and to the right and then came over diagonally, their pawn would have had a diagonal checkmate on me. So I think we were pretty much... I think we were pretty much as skedded, no matter what. This, on the other hand... Never mind, I'm dead. <laughs> no way, just kill the king, can't kill the king, you don't have any ammo! I'm dead! I'm alive, never mind. I, I forgot how to play chess. Okay, we're back. <clears throat> Wasn't even a problem, honestly. Okay, gain one ammo every time you kill a pawn. They get a lot more units, but they're slow. I I don't mind this at all. Then give them some pawns. I'm not worried. They can put a thousand knights on the board if they want. We will kill them all. I'm in check. There is no escape for me. No, there is escape for me. Insane. I think you just start just start blasting, man. Free up some spaces. Okay, I see the super check coming. And I fear nothing about it. Because look at this. I mean, I am the danger, Skylar. No sweat. And I, I dude, I can get out of this. Just call me Harry Houdini the way I can get out of this. You got five HP? Big whoop. Reload me. Reload me. Move me backwards one. Move me upwards one. Get killed. That easy. Their king can't be killed if a knight is alive. Literally, like, impossible to play when we have a thousand knights on the enemy team. However, play an extra turn when you kill a knight. Remove a bishop, add two knights. Hey! Endless free turns coming in. Just shoot. Thanks for the extra turn. Um, don't shoot. Make a move here. And then we'll shoot. Get an extra turn. Take your shot. I love it. You're going to put me in check. Let's reload because I think we're going to be able to... Well, you know what? Let's just kill you. I'm going to get an extra turn. Then I'm going to move. Now, that was that risky? Probably. Get blasted, by the way. Not even sweating it. Reload me. You're in for a world of hurt, my man. You just left your king exposed. Now, first... Give me your soul real quick. Then, get blasted. Reload me. Get owned. Holy cow. Okay. I feel like it's all good, but let's go with the gem. I love the idea of, of enemy kings having less HP, but we should be able to make up for that just by killing enough knights anyway. So, I mean, you know what's happening here. We're using a soul of the knight to move a little extra. Honestly, seems to me like I should take a shot, because, well, no, move here. I'm in check a thousand different ways. But I love this, because watch this. Okay, first things first. You get blasted. It gives us space for the king, and we got some collateral damage. Then, you get blasted again. I'm not that scared yet. Reload me. I'm not even in check. Thanks for the free turn and the unbelievable collateral damage. 
I need ammo. How's the king doing? You, nobody's putting me in check. I honestly feel you take a turn to just reload. And then, like, take a shot. Take a shot to minimize our risk on the next turn. Now let's think about how the enemies are going to work here. You're, well, you're probably going to get closer, is what I'm thinking. I think we have to move, like, well, if we're going to, I know we have the soul to get out. I think we could literally just reload and soul out. If we have to. And we do have to. Because this is the only safe place for us. No, this is safe to know because the king is right there. Um, okay, soul out. You're going to put me in check. Give me a free turn, please. And another soul. We've also... I was just going to say, you know how much collateral damage we've done to their uh, their queen by now? How about one of these? We're in check from the rook. I'm just going to level with you. I didn't even see it at all. Okay, move me here. If I shoot you... No, this will use our shields unnecessarily. Start here. Oh, okay. Fair enough. Can't move there either. I mean, we can't move there either. We got a soul out. I'm willing to. I'm willing to go right here and go for lethal. Three damage, please. Thank God. Um, how much HP you got? Four. Well, I can't really move. It should still work, right? It's just going to take my shields to do it. As long as I don't miss with all of my pellets. Okay, we're fine. I, they just, they, they forced me to put myself on lethal for it, and I respect them for it. King swap position with a rook whenever he would take damage. So this seems like insanely big brain. Because we could shoot the king from afar when a rook is close and then get their king right next to us. But then the next time we shot them, they would swap again. It seems like way too risky. Just give me the give me weaker rooks. A rook we can one tap is an interesting idea. Cause rooks, they're they're a problem, man. Just give me some damage in here. Get torched. We now have the soul of a rook. I would like to just reload. I think we got a, a lot of good stuff coming our way. We need to step back a little further and don't move into the discovered check from the queen. Because these guys have got to start getting killed. There you go. We got a free turn. We got another free turn. Plus we're getting collateral damage on other units. Reload me again. I don't think I'm being put in check next turn. Honestly, I say thank you for the free kill. We're still not in a discovered check. I'm going to take my free turn. I wonder if I could do this and also hit like a pawn or the king. Hey! That gives us the ability to get to free ammo. Or full ammo. Now, you gotta watch out for the discovered check. But we, you know what I think you do? We have to move. And I wanna stay close to the knights. I know we have a soul of the rook, but okay. You could be killed in one shot, it's just, it's very risky. Here's what I'm thinking. Move me. You're about to move. I can't kill you and lead to the discovered check. What I can do is move. I could shoot at you. It will probably hit this knight once or twice and allow us to get an easy free turn next time. If you kill the knight, you get a free turn anyway. Extra turn counters. Okay, but then I have one ammo to shoot the queen. Probably won't kill them, so we'd have to move anyway, but it would at least remove a knight. Okay, sure. Actually, it because of the, sp the extra power, the overflow damage totally is going to let us kill the queen. Don't, don't debase yourself. We need to hit one pellet. We're hitting a pellet, man. Don't even, don't even make me laugh. Reload me. 
Fear the discovered checks. Extra turn. You're gonna move this way. I'm I don't I don't I'm not afraid. See, I told you. Again. One more. That's fine. You're dead. I'm willing to do it. If that had missed, I never would have played this game again, probably. I would have given up on it for the rest of my life. Less firepower, but you can right-click to fire all loaded shells. I love it. To get so many free kills off of knights, I mean, I'm, I'm into it. We have a problem. We can't move to this space with our soul of a rook because of that pawn. So just keep the soul for now. Now watch this. <laughs> okay, it worked. Reload me. You have 5 HP. Um, Get shot. We didn't even need to, to go to that level. We didn't need to take it to that level, but we did. Okay, we've reloaded both. Now when we shoot pawns, we get ammo, which is nice. Don't make me laugh, dude. Really? Oh, I mean, right. Ah! <laughs> I'm free. I could probably just kill you and not be dead, right? I'm willing to send it. No sweat, man. This is our free turn. Reload me. Double kill me? Imagine, though. The overflow damage. Holy cow. Reload me. Now this is workable. I bet you're moving this way, so I'm moving this way. Don't. Okay, fine. Ah, okay, okay. That's why you pay attention, which is something I'm guilty of not doing right now. Let me get a little double shot. Let me reload all of my ammunition. Let me get a little... Double shot that'll probably give us... No, let me get a single shot with some... An ammo kicker, which I really appreciate. Let me shoot you easily. Let me move one space. I would like a... S I want a soul of the rook, but you know what? I'm willing to just send you with one of those. How does one lose in this game? I'll just wait like five minutes. Add two bishops on the start of turn 20. More pawns means more ammo, for sure. Which seems decent. Um, but we all just... I don't want their king to have more HP. But I also don't want them to get two bishops on the start of turn 20. So you know what? Let's do it. Remove a rook, even though rooks are easy to kill. This should help us keep our ammo high. And we are blasting. They got a lot of units. I'm literally about to be put in check like a damn fool, but there's no way we don't kill you with a blast here. Then reload me. You're going to move into the blast. We'll probably kill some pawns too and get a bunch of ammo. Now we're on our free turn. Reload me. I think every time we see pawns, we can just right click. And really, what well, we're happy with the pawns, but we're also very happy that we're doing collateral... Right, Pikeman. We're very happy we're doing collateral damage to the... to the enemy pieces. The pawns do have more HP now. Like, their queen has already taken some damage. In fact, their queen is dead. Move me down. Reload me. Not sweating it. Oh, I already got reloaded when I moved, of course. How about a one shot this time? And then you have, what, three HP? I think we reload, because then when you put me in check, I get you. I get you, and I got a pawn out of that as well. Then reload me. Like, what the... I ha I've turned it into a horde mode game. Um, what do you got? One HP, one HP? Okay, thanks for the two free ammo. There's another two free ammo. I'm in check. Move me, reload me. Give me a quick Mario Kart double blast. 
Reload me. Give me another double blast. Dude. We, we got it figured out. We got it. We finally caught a wave. Remove a pawn, add a knight, lose a little ammo. More ammo max adds a pawn. Pawns can walk two spaces on their first move. I mean, piercing actually seems insane with, with what we got going on. Because we are basically just shooting into the crowd. I think I'm okay with this. I think both of those upgrades were actually sick. Plus, it does give them a knight, which gives us an extra free turn in theory. Okay, you're moving. You're, so we don't want to move to here. I think you, you soul of the knight right here. And then you start blasting. I don't know what happened, but it seemed good. Now... Make sure you're firing in such a way that the king can feel it. <laughs> oh, Reload me? Oh, I'm in check. Right. Okay, be very... Dude, discovered checks are going to be so much more annoying now. Okay. Blast me? Oh my god. Um, You might as well shoot. I don't know. Maybe just do that. And then reload? That That seems better. I'm not in check, so just get double blasted. It's way less damage than I thought it would be, but that's okay. I'm in check. Back it up one. I bet we kill this knight with a double blast and weaken the queen. I bet we don't do that, is what I meant to say. It's okay. I'm not sweating. Don't kill this knight, because you'll die to the discovered check. Well, you're not dead. This is still okay. Don't kill the bishop because you die to a discovered check. You know what you do? Soul of the knight. Right, you're a pikeman now. Okay, that's fine. I can go here instead. It's safer this way anyway, copium. Double blast me. We're about to get 10 free turns. Reload me. We have a soul of bishop for escape-based purposes if necessary. And I would say necessary. Take me not into the knight's check. We're so safe now. Get double blasted. Reload me. 4 HP. Get blasted. So we have a soul for next time. Get blasted. Reload me. I'll just play it safe. Back it up. Double blast. You're alive. And blast you. Double blast you. What? Two V shaped in a row? Why not kill from where you were? What I'm realizing is there's a flow chart, okay? If you're in check and you try to lethal the king, then what that means is that you have to use two shields. You basically have to put you have to wager your whole run that none of the that you're gonna hit it with enough pellets to kill. So if you can move backwards a little bit, get out of check, and then take a safer shot, that's smarter. Non-king pieces can't come near your king. Remove a knight, add three pawns, pawns get faster. Remove a knight, add two bishops, flip a card if a piece is adjacent to you. Pieces are adjacent to us all the time. And our range is pretty bad, but... Non-king pieces can't come near your king. I want pieces to come close to me. So, as bizarre as that sounds, I actually think we need to take high focus. We need units to come close to us to enable our short range to actually kill them. We should be able to soul here and not be put in check, which enables us to do a double blast. And then reload, which will put us in check. Double check, in fact, but then move me here. And then double blast into the into the crowd. Forget the king. Let's take some pieces out along the way. Now we have an extra turn, which is a great time for reloading. Be very aware of the discovered check, okay? So here, I think you can literally just do a double blast in the general vicinity. Hopefully kill their queen. Maybe their rook. Maybe both. Maybe you get a little ammo in the process. Reload me. 
Now the risk of a discovered check is much lesser. So you got to be careful. This position is safe for now. I'm not in. I am in check. Okay. Move me. I'm not in check. Get killed. Prob. No discovered check. Get killed with some collateral. Lovely. Not in check. Reload me. Am in check. Who cares? I would like to get a, a soul. I'd like a soul of a bishop. So why don't you just blast me? Well, we have to use a soul of the knight to make that happen, I guess. Which I don't really want to do. Okay. You know what? What do you got? Let's we'll start here. That's why you don't just shoot at the king on lethal, okay? It's too much risk. You gotta go. That gives us the space to use a soul of the night. To move here. So that we can have a soul of the bishop for next time. I'll take it. And get owned. It's fine. Reload me. That's fine. It's not even like a big deal or whatever. New definition to you come at the king you best not miss. Wand of Gust. Repel all white pieces northwards. I don't know. Scouting seems impossible. Or, uh, sorry. Castle seems impossible for me to pay attention to. Cornered Despot does not seem like it's actually going to help us. But I do think it's better. Like, I think it's the best of a bad situation. Plus, look at how many pawns they have. Can't really use the soul of the bishop effectively. What you can do is just go gratata and reload. Okay, I'm in check. But no discover checks. Move back one. I've seen things you wouldn't believe. I'm scared. I don't think I need to be. I think you just need to do a double shot like right here. No discovered checks coming. No, no, no. I was I, literally, I was just about to say, I don't see how they stand up to that. And then you're already almost dead. Let's get some collateral here. My triple collateral on free-for-all. And we have a soul of the bishop that we can use to escape if necessary. Now, I don't believe we're in check. We'll start getting some collateral damage here. And I'm on the edge of the board. You're so, you're so right. When you're right, you're right. I'll just tell you there's no way we're missing this. Honest question. Why didn't that use my shield? Because shouldn't it... Shouldn't it use both of my shields in order to create a situation where I have to wager my whole game that I'm going to be able to hit with all the pellets? Because of the arc, they knew it was a 100% chance to hit. All right, that's... Honestly, that sounds like math to me. So I'm just going to embrace the L on that one. If you shoot this pawn and it dies, you die. So let's not do that. No collateral damage incoming here. Um, I'd like to... No, we don't need to keep a shot available. So we should double blast. Maybe we kill this pawn. We'd, we'd prefer not to. Give me a double blast here. I was just going to say, I was hoping it would kill the rook. Then we have to... Oh, I'm in check. Fair enough. Move me here. That reloads me as well, so you know you're done. Not in check. Give me a single blast. W worked very well. Reload me. Bit of a race against time. No big deal. Okay, okay. Militia adds a... P uh, uh, no, 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 no. No, 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 no. I, look, okay, so a wand is useful once per turn. Refill your ammo, reload your gun. Does it cost a turn to use? Because if so, that's not that necessary. We never run into ammo-related problems. 
It's free. It's a free action. Okay, then that seems amazing. And it adds three pawns that are easy to kill, and we don't have to worry about pawns moving, like, orthogonally. Floor 11. We basically just have to shoot. Because we're standing on the edge of the board anyway. It's kind of sick. Just be careful of the discovered checks. We have a discovered check here. I would be very cautious about that. Let's move out of the way of that just in case. Let's do the same. He's learning. Okay, now we've opened up a corridor, but that's not necessarily incredible. Oh, I'm okay, I'm in check. You're gonna move and put me in check as well, so let's let's just avoid that altogether. Alright, I can't even move there. Okay. Um, I can move here and get back to the... Motherfucker. <laughs> That's punishing. It's my fault. That was... At 